Buddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And this is my Chojin Kitty, Senua Sagiri. And today's Manga Nerdigan Lab reaction video is going to be for Chojin X Chapter 50.3. But before me and the little Chojin Kitty here get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And nah, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha. And nah, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And nah, we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, this adorable little Bubba Kitty, oh, you and your fucking eye bogeys, Kitty, I swear. And this operation literally alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content whether it be news analysis or live reactions like this one feel free to hit up our cash up and paypal links are in the description box below so man last chapter the ship be shipping with uh, uh palma and um and tokyo and ooh, ellie is not happy with that nah nah she's she's heading She's heading towards um, uh, becoming, you know, the Calamity. And there's also a chance that Palma could become the Calamity, too. But we'll have to wait and see. Right, kitties? But anyways, let's get to this chapter see what's in store for us today. Oh, so we're starting off with, uh, with Nude. Oh, he's playing video games, too. So, did you finish that game? You stayed up all... Oh, I'm sorry. So, you stayed up all night. Did you finish that game? Not yet. Um... After the boss rush attack, this conniving little, the real fight starts once, uh, uh, Flare Dash shows up. Wow. Um, so palmy. How did training go today? And, of course, this chapter is titled, The Events Following December 1999 Part 3. It went gosh darn great! Whoa, -ho. I'm sorry. It went gosh darn great! Whoa, ho! Get a load of my full beastification! Yeah! Go Palma! Whoa, dude, our hyena girl is hyena -ing. Yeah, all fired up. <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> is training with Mr. Kurohara that much fun for you? <laughs> what? How do you know, huh? That lid's been blown. It has? Um, yeah, something for blood is kind of annoying. Annoying? Oh, no more transfu- no more transfusions. I don't- I, I didn't mean it. What do you like- um, what do you like about him? Why that perv? Um, what do I like about Tokyo? He seems kind of worn down. Um, that makes me feel almost nostalgic, but when he really needs to get, um, when he really needs to, he gets the job done. He's kind of nice. Ooh, he looking at lingerie. But nudie, it's fine. Nudie? I think he'd be better off with someone else, so it's fine. I just want to steal a kiss. Someone else? Like Ellie, I guess. What? No way! Not happening! Not with that short stack! So, do guys... Oh, so, uh, it's not, it's not Tokyo looking at the, at the, uh, at the lingerie, it's Ellie! And she's with awesome. oh my god, she's with Ozma? Oh, this has to be so awkward! No way, not happening with that short stack! Guys like that kind of stuff? I wouldn't know. Um, a guy like him's gonna be into somebody with a rock and bob with curves for days! And you've got that covered, toots. You got a decent shot. You gotta have a rockin' bod? Yeah! Um, yep, you've got it all right. Uh, huh, should've known this would happen. A lad like me, with all my experience, of course I'd be the one mentoring you on the art of wooing. <laughs> nude, shut up! What, you've wooed people, nude? I bet you've only wooed, like, two people. <laughs> like that once too. That's right at Master Mato's birthday party when Brenda suddenly... Oh, Hartley, if only you would stay by uh, Batista's side. Um, mm, Umi. Mother? Um, wait, can you hear me? The mark. Oh, <gasps> there's the mark. Oh, is this... Is this going back to, um, the, uh, the massacre? I feel like genocide would be the, I think, yeah, the genocide. Yeah. But, 
Oh my god, is she just sweet? How dare you go this hard? I really am hoping that I am wrong and that this is not AI over hand drawn and that this is hand drawn. It's e there's no way this is just a nah, this is not like straight up AI. You'd be able to tell if it was straight up AI. Nah, if anything, again, this is from being black pilled by freaking Daryl Daryl Mion, I love you, but god damn it, you had to black pill me on this. But through my com conversations with Daryl Mion, like I've been starting to pick up on when, um, when there's a, a AI art, whether it's like straight up AI or like a fusion in terms of AI, because that's what it, when it comes to AI art, that's what manga could do is that at least like Daramion is they fuse like different things together. And then there's hand drawn over AI. And I feel like that's what this is. When it looks more realistic like this, when it's like heading toward the realism side of the spectrum, and it looks like it doesn't belong on um in the manga. That's when I have to question. Yeah, is AI being is this hand drawn over AI? It kind of feels like it, but I could be, again I could be wrong. But wow, it's mainly the soldiers that I think it is. I don't think anything else is right now. But God. Oh my god, this, so this is the calamity. Either this is like the, a combination of the massacre and the calamity, or this is like, oh my god. There's planes going down. Yeah, this gotta be the calamity. This has to be the calamity with airplanes going down and shit. Yeah, this is the calamity. Gah! Uh, a dream? But it felt so real. Because I've been here? Um, how long have I been confined here? The strange drug allowed me to heal. But that fixin', come on! You want the cucumber, you gotta grovel! I love disturbing this is, but yeah! Yeah, this was, um, what we were seeing... ...was the calamity. Definitely, that has to be the calamity. It, it ain't pretty. Nah. It's like a re- it felt, feels like a resurrection of Queen in a way. Hmm. Um... You want the cucumber? You gotta grovel. Please, please, please let me have it. Please, miss, please, Mistress Yubiko. Uh, please, Mistress Yubiko. Good boy. She mocked me ceaselessly and slapped me with so many affronts. Good job. Never forget this. Oh, Madam Yubiko. Oh, so mean. And she even dared to call her me. Just what is her aim? If I only have my powers back. Pay your back 20,000 fold. Hmm? Damn it. Trying to burn this place down? Mistress Yubiko, uh, welcome home. Uh, hey, she hasn't regenerated? Ooh, she got her ass whooped. Hey, Mistress Yubiko? She got her ass whooped. But, hold on. I gotta say this. This this is why you have to have the opening and closing text. Because now you let the way it is right now, because you didn't include the closing text, it makes it extremely awkward. Um, but man, that calamity though, what we saw with that calamity, going back to that, it was beautiful. That was beautiful, Ishida. Whether it is hand drawn, whether it is hand drawn over AI, whether it is straight up AI, that was beautiful. I feel like it is more, as I said, when it, it's when the art is like leaning more, and this is how I've realized this. Uh, thank, thanks to Daryl Beyond. When it leans more towards the photorealistic side of the spectrum, especially considering like the like a mangaka's art style, like say um, Ishida Sui compared to someone like Murata, where Murata usually does more um are uh more so on the realism photo realism slash photorealism side of, of the spectrum um then that's when you're like okay then you see some photo real photo realistic art up in here and trojan x and it's like okay there's got to be something going on whether it is ai whether it is um hand drawn over ai but because of the, the art style because of how ishida integrated it into this chapter, 
I feel like it's hand drawn over AI at most. If it's not hand drawn, it's if it's not like um up, I should I should reward this because they're use because uh mangaka are using styluses and and tablets um for um for you know for drawing now. So I'm like if it's not like if they're not like directly drawing with the stylus, that's that's how I should phrase it in terms of hand drawn. Because it's not so much pencil to paper anymore, even though I'd like it to be. Um, if it is, um, if it's hand drawn, whether it is pencil to paper over AI, which it, it wouldn't be in this case, it'd be, um, it would be stylus, um, you know, software uh, drawing over the AI, um, AI art, or um, if it's traditional, it's a hybridization. Um, it's definitely one of those two. It, it is. It's either like hand drawn and then um, and then adding the effects um, in the hybridization por uh, portion of it because that's something that um, that Gege does uh, with Jujutsu Kaisen. I wouldn't be surprised if Ishida Sui did something like that where it is um, uh, where they do the hand drawing for like the soldiers and then for the soldiers' faces and then put it up um, into uh, you know scan it into the tablet. And then uh, go from there. I and then you know add the additional effects. I could see that, um, but I could also. But as I said, I could see it also being like hand drawn over AI. It's not again. It's not straight up AI. No, 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 no. This is no way in hell. This is straight up AI. You'll be able to tell if it's straight up AI. No, nah. she. What she did it was either hand drawn over AI or um, did uh, hand drawn. And then uploaded it and then added, you know, the extra stuff via, you know, the software. There's a difference. But anyways, that was beautiful, though. That was the good. And I want to know what you guys think. Was Chandra seeing the calamity? Did Chandra get a vision of the calamity? That's what it seems like to me, is that this was, um, this was a vision of the calamity. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, do you guys think this was a vision of the calamity? And also what kind of art what kind of art style do you think we in terms of the calamity, what kind of art do you think we got here? What what do you think the technique was? And also something of course I have to mention, or I get shit in my comment section for it, is you notice how different it is for Chandra in terms of the vision. That's why I'm like, dude, this gotta be the calamity. Because remember in the previous chapter you know, the vision was all clouded and fogged and you couldn't see what the vision was, what was going down. But here it was like, it was like the fog has lifted from, um, from the prophecy. So yeah, and, and you know, and, um, Chandra's prophetic dream. So that's one like, yeah, I, I feel like this is, this is definitely, um, the, uh, the calamity. This is a calamic vision. There we go. The calamic prophecy. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about um, the uh, about the calamity? I love seeing. I want to go back to this. I love seeing how Sora like just gave um, Chandra the mark. That was beautiful. That's like some stained glass, like stuff you would see like on a stained glass window or something. Or, a t and that's the wrong wording, I'm sorry. Like a tapestry, there we go. And then as soon as she gave the mark, then we saw, so the calamity is going to kick off when her head, when she is beheaded. And then the soldiers are gonna come in. So, yeah, it seems like Sora is going to be the one to kick off the Calamity. Based on the art here. Yeah. But there's also this, though. The smoke. So now I have to wonder, because that it, do, do you guys think that the smoke symbolizes um uh ellie because remember she has the same power uh well she took well she had the same power and then you know she took chandra's power so i have to wonder if ellie if um the smoke in this dream 
is also re is referring to Ellie. That'd be interesting to see. But man, this is this is insane. But yeah, this is definitely this is definitely the um the calamity. Jesus, that was beautiful. And the smoke, oh my god, that smoke is gorgeous. Gorgeous. The buildings, yeah. But yeah, this is definitely the calamity. And it's going to kick off, I feel like, based on everything here, I, part of me is like thinking maybe Ella, it's either, and especially with how she, Sora was killed, and how it was a clean chop, And also, there's the black feather, so there's Tokyo, that's Tokyo to boot. So, will Tokyo kick off the calamity? I, I still am going with my gut that it's gonna be, and god damn it, it, it all ties it into that color page. I swear, ever since that hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil color page, like everything, I don't know if I'm going crazy, but like everything is really tied into that. And I feel like that's the case here too. I feel like it's, all three of them are going to play a role in this. I do. And remember their roles. Remember, Tokyo, speak no evil. Um, Azuma, see no evil. And Ellie, hear no evil. Those are going to play, I'm telling you, all of those are going to play a role in this. They are. Those, they are going to. Ellie especially, hers is definitely playing a role because she don't listen to shit. Azuma... Asuma, I think, is kind of blind to, uh, he's been blind to what's happening to an extent. And I don't, I, part of me is like, I don't think he can see what is, that, that Ellie's jealousy is going to drive her into causing a calamity. There's that. And then there's, um, to Tokyo's has been very obvious, but, in terms of speak no evil, but. Tokyo is starting to speak up more, and I'm very proud of him for it. And he's going to have to keep speaking up. He's got to have to stand up to Ellie again, but we'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this uh, um, operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Trojan X content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.